and uh, there are some uh, uh, students who are still trying to uh, get permission so i will uh, now start the class i will not allow anybody to access because uh, i am busy in you know uh, that that will uh, disturb me so uh, let us now uh, start the class i am going to uh, discuss uh, this novel uh, the dark holds no terrors and i think uh, some of you have uh, read it or purchased it from the market and uh, you have started reading it very interesting novel now uh, this novel i have started uh, i'm going to start this novel because uh, some of my lectures on bye bye blackbird have already been uploaded on youtube channel so you can uh, take the help of those lectures and you can prepare that novel uh, but this novel the dark woods no terrors is the novel which is prescribed in your course novel by sashi des pande now uh, when you read uh, i mean just uh, purchase this novel and uh, look at the cover page it is written there that an extremely talented story teller with an uncommon way with words this is actually a line of hindustan times which is there at the cover page of uh, the novel but when you look at the back page of the novel now the first line of some of you are uh, have uh, unmuted yourself anamika dev aradhya you have unmuted yourself why it's creating disturbance you please mute yourself all of you otherwise you will be removed pankaj again you have unmuted yourself why you mute yourself those who will not follow the instructions they will be removed now you see at the back page of this novel you will find out that there is a line why are you still alive why didn't you die this is a, this statement is there in the novel and very uh, i mean a uh, uh, heavy statement as far as the theme of the novel is concerned why are you still alive why didn't you die then uh, some review of the novel which is published at the back page of the novel uh, in sunday standard it is written the, about the novel that it leaves the reader gasping for breath this is uh, there in uh, the book review uh, it is written a compelling first novel and then in deccan herald it is published a very good beginning for this talented story teller so we have big appreciation of this novel and the novelist as has been reviewed by you know uh, various you know newspapers and uh, you know book review forums now uh, before i come to the novel the dark horse no terrors let me uh, discuss some important points which are related to sashi des pande because when you uh, understand about the novelist then i think you will be able to understand the novel now you have already studied uh, anita desai and uh, though the novel which is prescribed in your course does not uh, indicate the feminist perspective but as far as the celebrated women novelists are concerned anita desai's name comes on the front now we are coming to sashi des pande uh, who is one of the eminent novelists of contemporary uh, indian literature in english now western writers they always try to equate the writing of sashi des pande with anita desai whom you have just studied now indeed uh, both writers sashi des pande and anita desai 
uh, if you read the works of these writers, you will find out that they try to uh, center their characters, uh, uh, their, their novel around the women characters. That is, you know, the focus is on the uh, women characters. Now, uh, when you read The Dark or No Terrors, or when you are going to analyze Sashi Des Pandey and her novels, then some, you know, background of the novelist is also very much required. Now, uh, she was born uh, in the year 1936 in, in, in Dharwad, which is a place in Karnataka. Now, uh, she is the younger daughter of uh, the Sanskrit scholar, uh, novelist, actor, and dramatist, whose name uh, was R. V. Jagirdar. Why am I telling you? Because the influence of the family members was also very much there on the novelist. So she was the daughter of uh, a person who was a Sanskrit scholar, who was a novelist, who was an actor. Uh, some. Uh, Please mute yourself. Some of you has uh, unmuted yourself. Please mute all of you. Mute yourself. Now, uh, so I've just told you that she was the daughter of a Sanskrit scholar, uh, which also a novelist, uh, uh, an actor, R. V. Jagirdar. Now, uh, if you read the writing of R. V. Jagirdar, you'll find out that you know, he was writing under the uh, pseudonym uh, Adya Rangacharya. And, uh, you know, uh, also uh, Sri Ranga. And he published huge, you know, literary works. And that also includes the translation of the uh, Sanskrit plays. Now, uh, Desh Pandey uh, grew up in Dharawad, as I have just told you, in the early 1940s, in an idyllic, uh, fuss free uh, childhood. Now, uh, there is a line actually, which I was just going through. So she herself confesses at one place. She says that uh, my sister and uh, I were never told that uh, we could do something because we were girls. We were quite wild. That was something I have wanted all my life. Freedom. Now, if you look at this line, and when you analyze the novel, which is prescribed in the courts, I think you can easily evaluate it. Now, uh, she grew up uh, amidst uh, three languages. Now, when you uh, read Indian English uh, poets, then you'll find out that most of them are uh, uh, bilingual or, you know, Polylingual, that they write in English, they write in their, you know, uh, uh, their regional language. So she, uh, Desh Pandey, actually, uh, she uh, grew up with three languages: the Kannada of her father, the Marathi spoken by her mother, and English of the books, actually, which she was going through, which she was reading. Now. Uh, she watched her uh, father, Sriranga, as I just told you, a school dramatist um, of repute and is struggling with, her own, with, with his own career. When she watched her father struggling for the career, then you know, she was also very much worried about her uh, career. And uh, she thought that, you know, my, uh, what will I do in future? Because uh, uh, my, my, my uh, goal is not clear. Now, uh, she found actually a way by doing a course of journalism and later on a degree in economics. Now, in Mumbai, uh, she studied journalism at Bharti Avidya Bhavan and worked for a couple of months uh, as a journalist for a magazine, which is called uh, On Looker. Now, uh, when you read the biography of the novelist, then you'll find out that uh, she herself confesses it, 
And there is a line which I would like to share with you regarding uh, our you know, career and goal. That, uh, I never decided that I was going to become a writer. Because I, I, I never decided that I was going to become a writer. Uh, it was never a conscious decision. I got married. I had no definite career. I had two children. I was restless with being just a housewife and a mother. I was looking for a job. Nidhi Mistran Rani, please mute yourself. Then we were in England for a year. My husband was a doctor. I was very isolated there because he was at work all day. And I had seized, uh, two children and no friends. So then we returned and he said, why don't you write about a year there? I joined journalism course. I loved writing. I felt at home with it. This was actually uh, uh, Aditya Kumar and Nidhi Mistra. You have unmuted yourself. You will be removed. Aditya Kumar and Nidhi Mistra will be removed. Please mute yourself. Now, uh, So I did remove the because he has not uh, he is not you know uh, Yes. Those who do not follow the instruction will be removed from the Nidhi Mishra Aditya Kumar. So now uh, she uh, published her first collection of short stories in the year 1978. And uh, the first novel, which is prescribed in a course, that is The Dark Holds No Terrors, in the year 1980. Now, uh, she also received a very prestigious award, which is called Sahitya Academy Award for the novel That Long Silence in the year 1990. Now, you have actually uh, a list of the writers also, those who have uh, received uh, some prestigious awards, you will make the list also because most of the time you are asked the question in, 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 in examination. So she received Sahit Academy Award uh, for her uh, novel, That Long Silence, in the year 1990. She also uh, received Padma Sri Award in the year 2009. Now, uh, her novel, Shadow Play, was shortlisted for the Hindu Literary Prize in the year 2014. Uh, Shasti Deshpande has also written four children's books, a number of short stories, and many novels, besides, you know, uh, some perspective essays. Now, the essays uh, of Shasti Deshpande are now available in a collection which is called Writing from the Margin and Other Essays. This is Again, uh, you know, a collection which usually students forget, but uh, you must remember it that he, he published a collection of, you know, essays under the title, Writing from the Margin and Other Essays. Now, her essays were translated into uh, many languages. This is again a credit which goes to her novels. If the novels are popular, then they will be translated into uh, various languages. So her, her uh, uh, novels were translated into many languages like Hindi, uh, Marathi, Malayalam, Tamil, Urdu, German, Dutch, Finnish, Danish, and Kannada. 
So actually, uh, 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 they were translated into many, and th that shows that actually the popularity of you know her, her novels. Now again, uh, a very uh, serious development in her career, which you will also remember, that uh, on October 9, 2015, she resigned from uh, her position on the Sahit Academy. Uh, because she was not happy with the attitude of the people associated with Sahit Academy. The reason was, I think most of you uh, are familiar with a kind of campaign which went on during uh, uh, 2015 about rising intolerance. Now, uh, you see, when she resigned from the group of the Sahit Academy, she joined a broader protest by other writers uh, against the academy's perceived inaction and silence on the murder of uh, M.M. Kalburgi. I think uh, most of you are familiar with the name M.M. Kalburgi. Now, M.M. Kalburgi was uh, an Indian scholar of Vachana Sahitya or Vachana literature. Uh, he served as the vice chancellor also of Kannad University in Hampi, a noted uh, epigraphist of Kannad. He was awarded the uh, National Sahit Academy Award in 2006. Now, Kalbogi, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm telling you about Kalbogi because on account of the murder of Kalbogi, actually, he uh, returned, she returned uh, uh, her award and joined. Uh, with a group of all those people who were protesting against that. So Kalbogi was basically a progressive voice uh, among Lingayat, a caste group uh, dominating Karnataka state politics. In 2014, uh, he had uh, spoken against some superstitions which, were which are prevalent in Hinduism. Now following which, a case was registered on the basis of a private complaint by an individual uh, against uh, Kalburgi for hurting the religious sentiments of Hindus. Now what happened actually after that? Kalburgi was shot dead in the morning of uh, August 2015 at his residence in Dharwar district of Karnataka by two un unidentified men. What was the reason behind that? It was not known. But these uh, recipients of uh, various awards, uh, uh, you know, they uh, said that why these uh, literary people, why these recipients of the awards are being killed by, uh, you know, ruffians. So they uh, started returning their uh, awards for rising intolerance and Shashi Deshpande was also one of them. Now, when you look at the literary career of Shashi Deshpande, uh, then uh, you'll find out that the novel The Dark Holds No Terrors was published in 1980. Then we come with next novel, If I Die Today, 1982. Then we have Roots and Shadows, 1983. Then we have Come Up and Be Dead, 1985. That Long Silence, whose reference I've just given you, 1988. The Binding Wine, 1994. A Matter of Time, 1999. Small Remedies, 2000, and few more. When you come to short stories, then in 1978, she published The Legacy and the Other Stories. It was dark in 1986. And uh, The Miracle and Other Stories in 1986. It was The Nightingale in 1986. The Intrusion and Other Stories in 1994. Apart from that, apart from novels and short stories, she published play also and few children's books. Now in Sashidis Pandey's texts, 
women are not simply victims of circumstances of family and of society over the decades uh, that desh pandey's work embraces they have uh, come to stand out as a self assured self empowered articulate personalities that is the journey of the women characters of shashi desh pandey's is from submissiveness to militancy because you know they were submissive in the early phase but later on they became quite aggressive the, these characters leave behind uh, uh, limits and limitations hurt themselves against and cross barriers and conventional norms in shashi desh pandey you will find out how women characters are uh, new women characters these characters who cross the boundaries who uh, trespass actually who do not succumb to the patriarchal norms so when you read the novel uh, the dark horde no terror you will find out the emerging new uh, woman as the central character and in, in other novel that long silence in the other novel you will find out how the women characters how the protagonist is uh, is quite aggressive quite uh, articulate she is not silent actually she is not submissive so in my next lecture i'll discuss with some important themes which are there in the novels of sashi desh pande and then i'll come to the text actually i have another uh, uh, meeting at 10:30 uh, refresher course is going on so we have to uh, start uh, one lecture at uh, 10:30 so any question if you want to ask you can uh, unmute yourself and uh, if you want to ask anything you can no sir no any question sir from my side especially you want to ask Archal, you have sent one message. What is? The, do you want to ask anything? No, sir. Okay. Ajit, you want to ask anything, Ajit? Shivangi, do you want to ask anything? how do you find it do you find it uh, i mean uh, uh, will you be benefited by these lectures yes yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir continue it and we'll see to it uh, on which day we can meet the class it it, it 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 is not sure that i'll meet my class on wednesday if i get my time before wednesday so i'll do that Okay, and for you.